something happened along the way where she ended up like this. And I want to know what those pieces are and why it happened that way. <laughs> I'm like the opposite, dude. You know what I think? I go, Mussolini, Hitler, Mao, all these fuckers were once cute little children. Which one of these fucking kids are going to be a fucking <laughs> psychopath killer? It's like I de deconstruct the other way. And I'm like, <laughs> I guess that I'm like, damn, dude, you used to be a baby. What the fuck happened in your life, man? Like, what the fuck led up to this point? Because as we get older, too, the, the biggest thing that's been hitting me now, especially because we're finding out a lot about ourselves, is all these habits that we have were developed at a young age. Yeah. We just don't fucking know. Oh man, it is. I mean, I think it's a, I think that's the base of psychoanalysis. I think it's psychoanal. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a psychology method where they, they believe that, um, we go throughout life just trying to figure out all the bullshit that happened to us as kids. Mm -hmm. And we just got to rework all that trauma. Yeah. And, and you spend the most of your adult years just trying to identify and rework that. And some people, they live blind for the rest of our lives. You know? Yeah, I I definitely I don't know what it is. Maybe as I as we get older, we get a little more empathetic. Like I I start oh, definitely, to, dude. Dude, man, yeah. I'm I'm fucking everything makes me tear up now, dude. I'm soft as fuck, bro. I'm like, oh shit. Well, our testosterone's kind of like chilling out too, and you know what I think it is is that um, we're starting to see like, oh, kids. I oh. was a kid. I could make kids. Because guys are stupid. Like, we think ass. Stick my dick in an ass. Dope. Yeah. You don't think that's that's a titty and a baby drinks out of that. Yeah. You think that's a titty I wanted in my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Or, like, it's we're very short-sighted. Like, we know, okay, I know, like, having sex can pop a baby out. But, like, do you really know? Do you really? Like, guys don't think like that. Oh, but the fucking condoms feel terrible, kids. <laughs> well, 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 I think I Sorry, think guys children. are super short sighted. I think we're we're very, very um, we're like goldfish, right? If it's not in front of our face, we don't make those connections until you become an old wise man. Dude, I saw a video on Twitter of this kid jacking off on a plane. Did you see that shit? Yeah, that whenever we had the blanket like this, and he was doing like that. This fool was beating his dick like it owed it money, dude. This motherfucker was jacking off so fucking hard. It was like, ta, 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 ta. Dude, did you see the, the trail of videos under that of other people jacking off on the airplane? Oh, shit. It was like bald guy that was beating off. And he was like, hey, hey, you bald motherfucker. Stop that shit <laughs> right now. Stop. Stop. Like an old guy? Yeah, he was well. He was like maybe in his forties or something. God, but, see, that's so weird because but he was just like bald, like like a nerd, and yeah. I could imagine a teenager doing that because, ladies, if you don't understand, when when it's a teenage boy, there's urges that they ha they had the hardest time controlling, man. <laughs> so like for me, when I see that type of shit, and people are like, "Don't you miss it when you were young?" No, I do not. I su I'm surprised that there's not more teen pregnancies. Oh. For <laughs> Sure, dude. Dude. This what? kid was beating his dick so fucking hard. I've never seen somebody masturbate like that. It was almost like the first time he ever masturbated ever. Like he just found his dick. <laughs> <laughs> then, they, he left the window slightly open so the fucking light was shining through the blanket. So all you see is this silhouette <laughs> of this kid just mashing his dick like a bunch of fucking English peas. <laughs> that, Turning the fucking butter, butter dude. That shit was crazy. It man. was so funny because he thought that just wear just having that blanket over him, but still beating off would hide everything. Dude, do you remember the first time you masturbated? Nah, I don't remember the first time. No. You, know, you know what's funny? I couldn't remember for the longest time. And I remember on a JK News, Bart was talking about the first time he masturbated. He yeah, how do you remember the first time? And then after a while, I don't know why, but you know when you have conversation, it, it like ignites some type of synapses, right? Yeah. So I remembered the first first time i masturbated oh, fuck. after J bart kept talking about it oh, and i was like fuck. so i remember the first time i masturbated and the first time i came it hurt yeah i remember i, I was dry heaving yeah i remember like not the first time i came but i remember coming back yeah. in those days i remember it hurt i was yeah. like oh what the fuck is, is this shit fucking and hurts then you feel weird after yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, can't yeah. stop because you get a boner again yeah I, <laughs> <laughs> then like i remember like wet dreams and all this other shit i'm Damn. like that shit fucking sucked as a kid dude it did especially if you just crazy fucking horny man like <laughs> i feel like if 
kids didn't have porn today or like what the fuck did they do back in the day it, everything that's, turned maybe them that's on, why dude. that's why kids were getting married and fucking having babies at 14 15 years old why you think all those fucking high those fucking hardcore christian kids get married early so they could fuck they just trying to fuck without god judging them loopholes dude. yeah loopholes man I, look at these motherfuckers dude like i don't you ain't full of nobody dude you were literally getting married so you could fuck in the eyes of the lord dude like there's dudes out there that will get married like 17 and all of a sudden, yeah? they're just like fucking all the time. And I'm like, look at you. You just wanted to fuck. And now your marriage is Damn. all messed up and shit. Because they just wanted to fucking do it real quick. They wanted to fuck without the guilt. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm like, uh, I think y'all should just get your fucking fuckers out. But do it. Do it when you're older. Like, jack off as much as you can. Because be careful with that shit, man. Dude, no, the, mo the moment my kid starts jacking off and I see crust on their underwear, they're doing their own laundry. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> fucking picking up their boxers and it looks like a fucking like a plastic plate. I'm like, bitch, you do your own laundry now, man. <laughs> fucking disgusting creature. Hate oh that shit. Jacking off is like a sport, though. Like, I think it's funny, like how much you do that shit in your teens and Ugh. how much time you spend. Like if I spend. Ben, all that time actually doing my homework and becoming smarter, I would have been so much more successful. <laughs> but it's hard to think when you don't masturbate, bro. It is, dude. I'm just trying to read a fucking sentence and I go three sentences and I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm jacking off. <laughs> he's just like, he's just fucking reading the Bible verse to it in the beginning. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> give, me, give me my dick. Yeah, I'm like trying to type a fucking essay, and I'm on the I'm on the computer, and then the next minute my pants are mom around my ankles. I'm fucking jacking off like a motherfucker, and then the next minute I'm taking a fucking nap because I just jacked off. Were you there when Nick when Nick told that story about him jacking off when he was a kid? It has got caught. He got caught with his with yeah. his dad was like, "Stop jacking off," because this fool was so loud with it inside the shower. <laughs> like, stop jacking off. <laughs> How loud were you jacking pop, off, pop, Nick? Pop, pop, pop. All they heard, all they heard was. <laughs> can you imagine jacking off like that it's like nick cut that shit out dude i can hear it it's fucking disgusting oh my god so when we were cavemen right i think like see this is a good thing that girls are like more cautious when they're younger yeah because if girls were just as crazy horny as boys oh my god we would be having kids all over at like 13 14 oh for sure all over for sure. I, I, I can't, I, I'm pretty sure that if I had sex like during high school, cause I had uh, the first time I had sex when I was, when I was 18 and it was after I graduated. So I'm pretty sure I would have had a kid cause of how reckless yeah. I was even after 18. I'm surprised I didn't have a kid then. And every girl you get with, you think they're the love of your life and you're going to marry them forever. So oh, you're just, you're just stupid. My very first girlfriend, I thought that she was it. I was like, you are the last person that I will ever have sex with and I'm going to have kids with you. We're going to have that. These house. feelings. These fucking feelings, man. It's weird too because sometimes like randomly out of nowhere, like I'll have a dream and she pops in my dream. Like my very, and I don't Damn. even remember what she, I haven't seen her since I was like 20 years old. Damn. And it's so random. Like, was she your girlfriend at the time? Or you guys the, just kind of like. In the dream? No, no, no. Like back then, was she your girlfriend or you guys just kind of hooked up? Oh, no. She was my girlfriend. She, the first person I ever had sex with was, was my actual girlfriend. So it's kind of weird like when she pops up in, in a dream. But it's not even like we're together. It's just she's there. And I'm like, what the fuck Damn. are you doing here? But teen, the teen sex though wasn't even as good because it's like. Well, you don't know what the fuck. I'm pretty sure she had the you, I was you, the worst yeah, dick in you, her life. You come so fast. I mean, even in my 30s, I come so <laughs> fast. I came even <laughs> faster as a teen, dude. It's too, it's too fucking sensitive, dude. And you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Like, I don't know. And I, don't oh, know. I had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. But the, the first time I actually probably, I got checked during sex well after sex it was just one filipino girl and she told me i wasn't good and after that i was like well you tell me what's good then you <laughs> fucking tell me bitch and then you know she just was very open i mean that bitch was fucking crazy yeah. but the great thing that came out of that was the communication that happened after now that after that cool. i started asking like what they like what what they prefer what they don't like just to let me know but a lot of girls wouldn't like the first girlfriend that i was with well, because there's shame right yeah like, she they she, don't want to feel like a hoe and all that so yeah. i think that's why sex gets better when you're older because that if you don't gone. feel comfortable with each other 
um, it's you can't have good sex. Yeah, and for yeah, I de- definitely with when I look back on it, like I didn't know what I was doing. She didn't know what she was yeah. doing, and I just thought like, yo, if my dick's inside you, it probably feels great because my penis feels fantastic. And it's just like fuck. Yeah, it's just dirty little fat boy that she was having sex with. <laughs> Fucking greasy little fat fuck. Like, man, oh, God, it does man. get better with age, though. I think. For sure, man. Yeah. And I think like when I look back on it, I was like, dude, I was I was disgusting, man. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. She was she was having sex with a homeless person that she didn't even know. <laughs> Girls are so nice. She got the worst version of me. Let me tell you, lady, <laughs> if you had it now, it'd be a little bit better. <laughs> Just a little bit. It'll last a little longer. And now I stroke the back of your head with the back of my head like this. <laughs> Ooh, romantic, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> I'm like hiya in the back of her head now, dude. Yeah, you do that teen shit. You just go and fucking pump away, and then you fucking nut, and then you just fall asleep. <laughs> I know, man. It was just so bad. Like I look back on it, I'm like, damn, you just really didn't care, man. Like you just wanted to get it in as much as possible. Yeah, it's like one step above jacking off. <laughs> God, dude, that was so gross too. Just like hygiene wise, like oh god, just as a teen, you're just a disgusting little creature. I know. I don't even know how that even worked out damn girls are troopers man i think this, we all didn't know what we wanted or what what was a good standard yeah you know it was just like oh is this what sex is I guess it feels nice and then we now just i'm of, like i gotta take a shower shit oh. my balls be sweating all day i feel bad for you when you look in it i'm like <laughs> fuck hold on let me take a shower dude back then it was like dude i would go three days without showering get my balls licked and shit and i'm like i don't care yeah people would just fuck <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to uh, Stephanie Nguyen. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> She's like, is that supposed to smell like that? Yeah, of course. What do you dude. think? Dude. Yeah, I mean, they're fucking like crazy too, you know? And it's like, fuck, dude. Fucking dis.